Good afternoon. Hi, Carl. Mag-isa ka pala. So, hintay-hintay natin sila. <laughs> And natin sila sa clip. Hi, Nicole. Ko, um, member ka ng anak ng Violent Beginners or YouTuber that Yeah, so yung mga gusto magparinig, ibababa ka yung ano ha, yung, yung link. Member, okay. So ibababa ka yung link dito. Tapos pwede kayong mag-join para magkarinig, uh, pwede kayong magsalita, pwede kayong tumutog para pwede kong i-check. So parang one-on-one -on -one lesson nito pero uh, ang setup niya ay master class. So later kapag meron ng non-Filipino uh, speaker, siguro mag english tayo. Siguro lang pag may dumating na non-Filipino speaker. So, huh. so, sino kaya ang gustong mag-unang mag, ano, mag, mag-parinig? But anyway, habang naghihintay, uh, i-discuss ko lang ulit um, yung basics. So, review lang. Oh, first of all, pansin yung ating t-shirt. Ito ang aking souvenir sa... Oops. Carnegie Hall. Ito mo ito kami ng 2016. So. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, connect ko na yung ako. Bluetooth. So. Medyo mainit na. Okay. So. Okay. Um, Kagawin ko ay Continuing Review. So actually, na-discuss ko na ito sa mga previous na ano, mga uh, live streams. Ito na ito. Nakapag... Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, sige, join me. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Ano? Azalia? 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 <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung paano i-pronounce. <laughs> Ayan na, pwede kayong mag-join dito sa taas yung mga gustong uh, magparinig later yung mga gustong i-correct ang playing na kung may problem So, yun yung pinaka-basic na kailangan uh, magtutunan natin for those who are uh, complete beginners Yeah, sinabi ko na sa uh, mga previous uh, sessions natin practice na kayo ng open string Why? Kasi yung bone quality, yun ang pinakamahirap na uh, i-workout kapag uh, bigay mo kayo. Dito nang nagali ang sound, as I've said before, sa right arm. So kahit gano'ng pagaling ito, sa simula, bali wala yan kapag hindi kaya i-produce nito yung sound. Okay, and then, um, yes, kapag pumuntog, uh, kapag nag-practice ng open string, kailangan flat yung bone. So, open string. So, bakit kaya na open string? Doon niyo papakinggan yung tone na gusto niyo. Gusto niyo ba nung sobrang airy lang? Nakapatang na yung bow? Or in my butt? Sabi ng teacher ko noon, ang pinakamagandang sound ay yung 
bago maging screechy yung tumog kapag nag-glide uh, po. So before maging ganito yung sound, one notch uh, lower, yun yung magandang sound. So full sound. And then, always remember, kailangan flat yung bow sa string. For now. Bakit? Kasi mag-prepare sa yung arm natin na tama yung gagawin na maging straight yung bow. Also, uh, important na ano, na kaya yung tugtugin siya ng pinakamabagal na, na, ano, na, na tempo. So, mabagal pero may bite. Para maging flat, palagi yung bow sa string. So, yung um, string crossings, napaka-importante niya kasi yung elbow naman, tuturoan niya kung saan siya lulugan. Hindi kasi dapat siya gumagawa ng ganito. So, kailangan maging, ano, maging vigilant kaya. Pagka ito ay gumagawa, ibig sabihin mo ulit. So, kontrolin niya yung elbow. Okay, so yun na yung sample niya. Um, elbow, naka-position siya uh, between yung height na sa D string at saka sa A string. So nandito siya para madaling igalaw yung wrist. Ito lang. And then, meron pa rin siyang bite. Kung mag-play kayo. Oh, okay, so English na tayo. Okay, so Shakti, uh, hello, good afternoon. So I'm actually uh, giving a review about the very basics in violin fight. And by the way, uh, when you post your future videos, Shakti, uh, listen, the, the camera angle should be like this. I want to see your elbow, how it moves when you glide a little up and down. So the, the belly of the instrument should be the one facing the camera. Okay, like this. Uh, not like, like this. Because it's very difficult to gauge whether your bow is properly placed, if it's moving sideways like that, or if it's uh, slanted, or if the bow is actually flat onto the string. So when you uh, submit the, your next videos, position it this way, okay? So, so that it will be easier to gauge. Do you see everything? So like this. And then if it gets easier, you can actually double the tempo. Okay, when you play fast pieces or fast moving notes, you only need a little bit of the bone. So the, the you just remember that the motion bite the string at, um, at the same time as you cross strings. Now, when you're crossing, look here, you don't need to move or you don't need a wavy movement of the, uh, of the bow. So all you need to do is lift this maybe half a millimeter uh, off the string and back like this. So less bow, uh, I keep on saying um, less bow. So, that's all the movement you need to play fast uh, pieces. So one millimeter for each note. So. And then relax the arm. All, uh, the movement will be coming from the wrist only. Relax the wrist. Relax the wrist. So this is the uh, the circular movement, circular movement there and then here. Relax the elbow, drop the weight of the right uh, shoulder, drop it down there, and then just this one. And remember the, the height of the elbow should always be about one, between one to five degrees lower than, than the wrist. 
it cannot be like this, it cannot be higher. You can stand, you'll be um, carrying the weight of the, the whole arm, and that will be more difficult because you're adding weight when you play. So instead of relaxing, you, you won't be able to play uh, easily because uh, it won't uh, get relaxed at all since you're carrying the, the heavier uh, part of the heart, which is on the air. So drop this down about one to five degrees lower in the air. So now um, I'm dropping the link here. Who among you would want to show their playing so I could correct it uh, right away, like, yeah, in master class uh, form. So there, there's the link. You can join me if you want. Uh, you can turn on your camera if you want to. Well, actually, you should so I can see the, the movement of the, the arm. So there, who wants to be the first uh, victim to screw it? So even if you're just playing open string, it's fine. So open string as slow as you can and as thick as possible. This is about the tone the color. The quality of your sound should be the one that's really pleasing to the ears. Slow but reverberating. So now I could sit down and wait for the first student who would volunteer. Let's, okay. So, I'll position this. Okay, so, let's do this. Whoops. Starting to get dark. So, so, who wants to show his or her playing? Who wants to volunteer? Shakti, you want to? You can turn your camera on. I'm adding the three of you up here, so let's see. Last week, Shakti. There. Okay. Uh, please turn on your camera if you're going to. Uh, perform or play something. Yes, of course. So who wants to go first? Uh, Cara, okay, go on. Uh, turn your camera on and the volume. Uh, maybe the last. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, you will keep it possible. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, yung one problem po is uh, sometimes medyo nag-aano na matalbog yung ano yung bone. 
Yeah. Uh, and what else? Sapphire again, Pak yeah, so um, um, for the benefit of Shakti, because uh, she doesn't speak uh, Filipino, so what Carl says, said, um, it's difficult to control the ball because it, it gets bouncy. Bounce. So, um, yeah, so how to solve this one? Actually, um, what I noticed was that um, the playing there was not really synchronized. The, the bow movement, the bowing arm, is actually too fast, too fast for the movement of the of the fingers. So, if I'm going to play this one, there, there. So. I'll meet your mind, uh, shall we? Uh, there. Okay, so you should synchronize the movement of the right arm to the movement of the, the left uh, hand, the fingers. If they're not synchronized, it would sound like this. It's a, a, um, the, the nose would be so unclear that it will sound like you're doing a travel it's on. That's the sound you will get if the fingers are not synchronized with the, the bone. Um, You only need a little bit of bow, one millimeter. So. It bounces off of the string when you're using a lot of bow, and then the elbow gets stiff because um, it uh, is having a hard time controlling the bow. So what we need to do, lessen the movement of the of the other hand. So that's all you need. Really good. That's all you need. You don't even need to play it one minute. And it's also very common to have the bow bounced in half because that is actually when the bow wants to play or to do the uh, ricochet or the, the jumping off that sound, the jumping sound of the, of the bow. And there's also another articulation, but it's more advanced because uh, you have to be able to control the bow as you do it. So, Carl, thank, you, thank you for that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, relax. Welcome, relax the whole arm. Less bow, one millimeter only. Yes, but okay, thank so, you. So, welcome. So, Shakti, do you want to play something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. You will have to move your uh, camera, or you need to position yourself up where I can see the violin and your fingers. Would that be possible? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay.
Okay, thank you. So there, then you see that you're trying to use a lot of bow even when the notes are actually fast. And then all of a sudden, when you try playing the 30 second notes, you're just um, ricocheting your bow without counting the, the number of um, strokes. You should be able to count it. So the, um, the minimum, one, two, one, two, and then crotch one, two, one, two, and then faster, ta, 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 and then ta, 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 and then ta, 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 ta. We have to count it. The last one should be able to count um, two sets of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And as we go faster, uh, from from using the whole length of bow, we start going towards the middle of the bow. So here, slow, going faster and faster, this is the length of bow you're going to use. So faster and faster and faster until we arrive to the very middle of the bow. This is where you play uh, this tempo right here. It will require a lot of patience to actually synchronize this these fingers to the movement of the bow. So we need to internalize the, the sound as well as the movement of your fingers at the same time. So if you cannot play that one yet, just uh, do the bow wing. So. But while doing that, you're the uh, focus should be on the, the movement of your fingers already. Sorry, imagining the movement of your fingers while playing this on the string. Your brain should already be telling you to play da -da 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 synchronize it to the movement of your bow. So, that's how I practice fast and pieces. So. So you should be able to relax your arm while playing that speed. And then imagine playing the notes already while doing the open string. And then try inserting one set at a time. So. So the finer it gets, you should be able to play that very soft, gradually going louder and louder. That will be more difficult for the arm. But then, it, um, you'll mature much faster also if you can control at the same time the, the, the dynamics, going softer and louder and softer and louder. So that, of course, would uh, require you to practice again the open just the open strings. So. then you would master how much pressure you're going to apply onto the bow as you play the, your desired uh, loudness or dynamics for any piece or particularly for that exercise. But, uh, I really like uh, playing exercises in different uh, degrees of dynamics because that will really help you a lot. So hopefully that developed. Um, we want to try it. 
So slowly again, just master the speed. Master the speed first. Okay. So master the speed, and then um, try adding your fingers, the movement of the left uh, fingers. So try again. So slowly, uh, perhaps a uh, crotch at all you, is it possible? I can't hear you so often. Uh, I don't hear you, sorry. I can't hear you properly. Oh, you, you can't hear me properly. So I wonder, um, I wonder why. So what did you understand? <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling you earlier about the yeah, about the movement of the right arm. So maybe I should speak louder. Is this better now? Yes, sir. Okay, so perhaps it's the, the pickup of, of the microphone of my laptop because I'm not using any microphones at, at all, just the laptop's mic. Well, um, I showed, I demonstrated earlier how you could uh, refine your sound by just uh, controlling the right arm because this is the basis or this is uh, where the your tone quality would uh, be coming from so as you glide you have to have a full control of the right arm so lower the weight of the shoulder this one lower it down to high so lower it down, and then the uh, the elbow should be about five or one to five degrees lower than uh, the the wrist. So that's easier to control the ball. When this is too high up here, you will be care uh, that you'll be carrying the weight of the entire arm. Then if you add that, and then you you glide the ball, it will be too difficult because it's like a it's like a, a car that is fully loaded, for sure that won't, uh, that won't um, go faster anymore or not as fast as the ones with only one or two people inside, right? Because it's too heavy. So lower this down. One to five degrees lower than the wrist. Relax the whole arm, the entire arm. And then as you go faster, so from minimum down to the semi paper here, you go towards the middle part of the bow. So there. So so here ta 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 should be much less. So relax the whole part as you play the little second paper. So. The right exercise is just to do open string. And then imagine the the imagine your fingers going down, playing those notes. The first just the first measure of a uh, septic. Right? So Imagine it going down and up. Da, 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 da. So first, you have to do open strings while imagining the movement of your fingers, because you really have to synchronize the the fingers, the finger movement to the speed of the bow. So if this is too fast, slow it down a bit, and then imagine the movement of the the notes. So. Your brain should be the one singing those notes intended for your fingers. So. And then try one set at a time. Hope you're getting it. So one set at a time. If it gets easier, once this gets relaxed, the left hand and the right arm, then it's about time we're going to add another set. Oh, I lost you. I hope you're still there. And then two 
cinco sets. And then, like what I said earlier, you can play with the, the different tempo. Uh, sorry, not the tempo, uh, later for the tempo. So you keep the same tempo, but then play with the uh, dynamics of the exercise. So you can start playing going softer and then gradually going uh, louder. So. So, um, if you notice, there's like a waveform of the dynamics of going louder and louder and then going back, soft, soft, soft. That will force your right arm to really control the ball. Yeah, but you can only do that or you only have to do that once you're used to the pattern. You don't have to play it so fast right away. You cannot, or you have to master first the tempo where your fingers can uh, easily uh, move. So if you're trying to play this right away, it's not going to happen. Why? Your fingers are not used to it. Your brain uh, is not fast enough to really uh, tell your fingers that, oh, you're too slow or you're too fast. Okay, you need to synchronize both first before you go faster. So I, I always tell my students, that the, the slower you practice exercises, the better. It's more beneficial because then uh, it will be easier for the brain to register everything. Slow practice, that means that you're uh, strengthening the foundation. If you try to play fast this soon, uh, it's not going to be that beneficial at all. So I would say really practice just until the semi quaver. Okay, no, but no, then send the paper for now. Mm -hmm. So master it. So for that, you will only need about one, one centimeter of a bow. So that's how I measure it. Middle bow, okay? Middle bow, um, just one centimeter. So, okay, so, okay. <laughs> If you want to try um, playing or gauging the, the capacity of the instrument, um, uh, well, I, I told them earlier, those were present uh, when I opened, uh, that the best sound actually that you can produce on your instrument is to walk just one notch lower before, well, it, just before it gets scratchy, just before you get that sound. So one notch lower. That will be the thickest uh, sound you could uh, get from playing your instrument. So that is uh, what I want you to really work on, so that when you uh, play anything, even if it's just an exercise, you would have a fat sound. We want fat sound when we play the instrument. Why? Because you need to project your sound. Um, your audience in the future, even if it's just virtual, because at the moment you really cannot play in public, right? But um, you can still transfer that kind of quality to the, the recorded uh, version of it or through, through like what we're doing now. So you have to have a full, well, we call it really, um, the tone quality should be really thick, nicely the round sound, which is not forced. Force means too much like that. So work on uh, making the sound like really round and pleasant to the ears. 
Okay, so thank you for um, demonstrating earlier. I really appreciate that. And for sure, now you know how to work on the rest of the exercises, right? We're going to apply that on all the exercises, okay? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to mute your mic. Um, who else wants to show um, his her, or her, her performance or maybe a little bit of problem while practicing? So that goes the same um, to those who are having a hard time by playing fast pieces. Remember, you don't need to play so fast. Uh, what matters is the notes have to be clear when you play music. If playing fast is what you want to do, then practice it slowly, slowly, slowly to master it. So, okay, so who, who wants to show his or her playing next? Well, Shakti, I'm going to remove, remove you for a while so I could also put up Daryl up here, okay? Thank you. Stay there, though. Okay. Uh, sir? Hello. Sir, need po ba na Hello. from Septic yes. lang po yung i-play? Or can I play No, you don't have to. You can play uh, okay. something else. Okay, po. Kasi okay. I've been... Oh, by the way, yeah, sorry, uh, I, how do you pronounce your name? Azalea po. <laughs> Azalea, 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 Azalea. Azalea. <laughs> you can call Azalea, me Azalea okay. for short. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll just call you Azalea. Okay. okay. Well, po, um, I've been practicing the second movement po of a student concerto by OVD, OP35. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kasi po, I've, I'm trying to work on my dynamics and bow control. Yes. Si po yung first okay. the the first movement is quite I I don't want to say easy but it's quite easy compared to the second movement because mm -hmm. I think the second movement have uh, entails a bit more control of the bow yes and other so, so actually there's a notion that uh, playing slow pieces are easier than fast ones actually it's the other way around. no. <laughs> Yes, it's yes, more uh -huh. difficult to play slow pieces because uh, your maturity goes with it as well. And, well, the most difficult part is the bow control. Mm -hmm. The moment you start uh, bouncing, then you're going to ruin the, uh, the, the, the totality yes, of the piece itself. Because um, it will start irritating the rest of the, the phrases. So, okay, so let us hear you. I'm just a bit shaky. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm a bit so nervous. <laughs> I wish I had your music here, but uh, I don't have it. I'm sorry. Okay, so come on. I'm sorry.
Okay, okay <laughs> thank you for that. I really hope I have you, I have your music here with me. Maybe you could do a, a screenshot and, a, and then just send it through uh, Messenger. I'm not sure. Possible. Oh, yeah, so right. Let me just bring up my Messenger. Yeah, I, I don't have to play the whole thing anyway. So, and then just send it to me privately. Okay, but I'll try to so, find it before. So, yeah, while waiting, you know what I've noticed is that um, the the control, of course, you will still need to control uh, the bow a lot, but uh, most of the time, um, when you're not doing a flat bow, that means that only like half of the sound of your instrument is actually being projected. So if you could really control the bow by uh, doing a flat bow as you uh, glide along to the strings. And also, um, you have to know when to apply your vibrato. It doesn't mean that you're not doing a very good vibrato, but sometimes when you are doing a vibrato, all of a sudden you stop. Why, uh, you have to ask yourself, why do I need to stop here? Or why do I need to continue doing the problem? So, uh, um, basically, well, for me, and I think uh, a lot of people will do that also, is that when you want to intensify the, the passage, you will have to add a lot of the problem. And then, as the, the line that you want to show your audience, like, goes down, then you have to lessen it. But you, you should not uh, like uh, stop the vibrato uh, right away. Like, or something like that. So there, there are times when you, you're not really aware that you're stopping your vibrato. And that is uh, stopping also, or the, the, the phrase all hear, the phrasing of the music is being cut off. So instead of us hearing a very nice long sound, all of a sudden, oops, there's a stop there. Why? It's because of the vibrato. All of a sudden you stop. Why? Perhaps you're shifting or perhaps you're crossing to the next train. That's why it's so difficult to perform slow pieces because all of those nuances would be heard. And Yes, for sure, that is what they're trying to uh, solve at the moment. So now, so how to solve it? By doing more of the vibrato, it doesn't have to be intensified all the time. As long as you don't stop it when you change uh, positions or when you cross from one string to another, then it will be very beneficial for you. And uh, what else? The bow control is really not easy. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Um, if I'm not mistaken, you didn't have any teachers at all. You started. Uh, just you taught yourself, the, right? Uh, I had a teacher when I started, so you I kind of learned yeah. the basics, the basics. But then, then I after, progressed yeah. on my own. Yes, but. Yes. Yeah. So that's uh, mainly the problem. I'm not saying that uh, you should not do it, but uh, lucky you that you continued playing and then you advanced. But then, because there's a lot of uh, lack of guidance about the bow control, which is not really your fault, because nobody's telling, hey, you need to control your <laughs> so it's all by yourself. So you have to go back to the basics uh, regarding the, the bite of bow to the string. This one, the very simple, the, the most basic one, just open string, just control the bow. what I'm missing in your sound is actually the fullness of uh, the sound. So it's like an ice cream with an ice cream and just a cone. So put more ice cream with it. We want more ice cream, uh, with ice cream right? <laughs> so, Sir, I sent the piece na rin po pala. Yes. Okay. I sent the piece na po through Messenger. Messenger, let me check because it's not here yet. Maybe also, sir, I think my nerves is getting in the way of the bow control. <laughs> I was so shaky. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, it's part of the game. So let me see, because it's on my Can you phone. see Puba or, or should um, I? 
try to take a bigger screenshot of the it's not appearing on my laptop but then i have it here on my phone so let me just bring it out <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's okay so save oh i cannot save it oops so how do you save it oops this one I can't figure how do I to this time I can't figure I'll try to read it <laughs> <laughs> so tiny. Okay, so the the below you need to uh, phrase the that line one, two, three, four. It's a four measure phrase. You would, you might want to actually go oh, so small. Sir, can I, I share my to... screen na lang po? Can I share yes, my screen? Uh, let, and let's then... try. Yes, try, try. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. But can you? I'm making it this. Wait lang po. I'll try to... Ah, ayaw niya na. Single application na. Entire screen na lang po siguro. Ayan po, ito po siya. Can you see my screen na po? Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, you might live here. But I would play it on A string. it's piano it's only that much that you need to uh, uh, <laughs> so try it again okay. oops see look there all of a sudden you spot the vibrating the, the notes Yeah, so very good, much better than earlier, but still, you need to have a four measure phrase. Uh, as if you have a very long, what do you call it, slur. So there should be like a very long slur line there. So. That's the piano part. Okay, so can you try that? One long slur. Okay. Stopping oh, about okay. remember? this part. <laughs> yes, it's okay. So, so I want more hair strands and biting this thing. Okay, remember? Do not tilt the bow so much. So, mm -hmm. 
more hair strands. The third note, the A there is very important. So you did not give any importance to it. So what I heard was no. So to vibrate that note. That is the one that will connect you to the next line. That's why it's very important to vibrate it. That's much better. Still, you can uh, work uh, on the, the, the phrasing. Now, let's try the second part. notes are very important okay so connect the notes together. Remember, uh, we have a four measure phrase here. So it's like there's a very long slur there. So connect those notes. Connect them. Try it again. Now you're, you're, you're being shy already. So you have to <laughs> add more, uh, yes. Uh, you have to add more emotions to your playing. Okay, so um, you're the one telling the story here. The story is the music. You have to tell us your story or tell the story. So. Again, you're shying away. Yeah. Okay, you're playing. <laughs> you're you're doing a gradual piano part there, gradually going softer. But it doesn't mean that you're taking away or taking off much of the the ice cream. Okay, we don't want the cone. We want more sound. The volume is the one getting softer, but not the quality. The the tone quality should remain the same. So. Yeah, and just before uh, hitting the uh, that note, the E, you should start by playing right. So. so soft pop still has a uh, um, substance. Okay, try it again mm -hmm. one last time, perhaps. <laughs>
Yes? Better? And well, let's try. <laughs> Sound there. So that's a fourth one. another phrase here. This is the part where you're going to intensify because uh, it's like there's a, a minor climax to this piece, right? So you have to internalize the, the sound you would want us to hear from you. So... Going down here, there should have a meaning. You're not just going to play. It's not like that. You have to know why you need to slow down. So, can you try that part again? much better actually compared to earlier but um, it, it's still lacking for intensity so this time this is a a, a, a measure phrase so Now I'm back. Okay. So that's actually much better now. Uh, what I'm trying to say here since uh, earlier actually is to connect the, the phrase, the phrases uh, and the notes by doing vibrato. So connect each measure and each phrase with, with an application of a nice vibrato there. So there. Okay. 
connect them with the user report. So perhaps one last time, and then yeah, we will move to the next one. So for sure, you're going to work harder in this one. I know it's not easy. It's very <laughs> difficult because the, the the second movement, this one, is a, is a very mature piece. So it has to sound like you're really doing a concerto by adding more emotions to it and then connect all the notes together, especially the phrases with a nice vibrato. Don't stop. Um, most of the time, you're not aware that you're stopping your vibrato. And instead of having a, a long, nice, uh, connected uh, phrasing, it's always like that, and then stops there, and then go back, and then back, and then back. So they're like a segregated. Yeah, so you should have a very nice, long uh, line there, wavy line. Not too long, okay. and then down, and then back, and then back. OK, thank you so oh. much. Yeah. So who's next? Who wants to play next? Let's see. Any volunteers? Maybe next time I would ask first for the music pieces that you're going to play so that um, you won't uh, spend so much time trying to bring up the music. So, who is next? Mm. Who's next? Kanji? Anyone? Are you still here? Hello. Hello. Do you want to play something? Uh. Exercise as well. So our physics team. Oh, Sorry. So are you going to play something for us? Exercise uh, yeah, or yeah. yes. Okay. Is it working? Yes, it's working. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, uh, I haven't played for since 2010, so. Yeah. Oh. Can I play anything? Okay. Yeah, you can play any uh, simple piece or exercise, so your choice. You can play any of those. Are you going to play it for us? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is it working? Yes, it's working. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Although, yeah, 
Uh, normally, I don't comment on Suzuki pieces because I'm not a, a licensed uh, Suzuki teacher. But since that's one you play or you perform, of course, I have to comment on that. Um, you'll have to use uh, more bow. What I mean by more bow is that there should be more sound to it, not really the length of bow. But you should have uh, more bow contact to the string. So, Thicker sound, you want thicker sound. Okay, because what I heard earlier is you are playing too less. So. Too less. So, mm -hmm. more sound by adding more hair strands, more flat to the string and a little bit of pressure. Just control that it won't uh, get too scratchy. So. Sound you make. So flat bow and then relax your bow. You need to relax this. Top, 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 top. Okay? So can you do it again? Um, yeah, so a little bit more bow, more bite, but not scratchy. Okay, can you do that again? Thank you. Oh, once more, once more. Still too less. So add more body to your playing. Just, just the first two notes. Let's get those two notes there. Nice and so. Guess those two notes. Up. A little bit more bow. So it's like doing an up bow, and then stop, and then another bow, but still up bow. So. But you're stopping the bow. Um, can you just add a little bit more length to the, the, the note? So. Yes, once more. Now control the wall. You're using too much now. You're doing what is that? Um, yes, so the first note, stop, and then the second note. Can you do that? Yes, those two notes. Oops. Uh, you're you're too quick to play the second note. So here, pause and then just for control. Yes. So same length. You need to use the same length. Yes. Much better. So. Oops. Longer break there. So. Getting better. Now, faster. Yes, now, last bow. Yes, now. Yes, but don't lift the bow when you go, when you cross to the G here. So, don't lift the bow.
Yeah, bow by the string. You need to bite the string. Yes, so you learn from that part. Yes, much better. Much better. Okay, one last time. Yes, okay. So you have to remember this when you're playing, you need soft stunts, okay? It's not just the bowing going up or down stuff. It's not just like that. You need to add body or substance to your playing. The, every note should have their own um, character. Um, it's the same as the rest. So they should be fat. They're not empty notes. They should be fat. They should have something in them. So. And then uh, you need to plan how much bow you're going to use for every note. For the first two notes, if you're going to use only this much, and then here's the break, ta, break, ta. You cannot go longer here and less here. So here, and then the break there, and then there. Then you would have a more um, uniform uh, sound. So uh, another one is that you need to relax. Or, uh, of course, you're nervous uh, performing for uh, all of us. I know, it's okay. But then, just remember, relax the right arm. You have to relax this, because there's no one giving, the, giving us the, the sound, right? This is nothing without the one giving us producing the sound. So we have to work harder on this one, the right one. Relax, 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 relax. So always listen to the tones. Um, I advise that you record your playing or at least uh, a video record is much better, of course, but as long as you can hear your playing and uh, mm -hmm. you can uh, review afterwards, then you can tell uh, the nuances that uh, you need to work on. So top, 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 top. You have to have a smooth, thick sound. Okay, that's really pleasant okay. to the ears. Okay, sorry, I'm not really a Suzuki uh, instructor, so I can appear more than that. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you so much. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. So, who's next? Perhaps the last one? Because, the, yeah, every week we're going to do this already. So, I would say um, you will have to. Well, give your piece if I don't know the piece, or perhaps if uh, it's not the piece that we're doing in the in the lounge, then you have to prepare it so that we won't waste time trying to load or upload uh, or sending it to me. So it, it will, yeah, will do much more when there are no wasted time. Well, it's actually my fault. I should have told you much sooner or before this uh, session uh, started. So who else wants to um, show his or her playing? Who else? Just unmute their microphone, whoever wants to show his playing. Hello. Hello. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so. How have you been since the last time? Uh, <laughs> okay, yes. Yes, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, so 
first <laughs> first yeah so uh, this was actually done earlier already but you are not here yet um, the movement of the left hand should be synchronized to the movement of your body to the body part so when you play fast uh, pieces the you, you need to go towards the middle of the bow so the faster you go the less bow you use and you will need to focus here going towards the middle part of the bow and for the 30 second no calories you should already be using only like one millimeter of the ball. But then, um, I advise you not to play too fast at the moment, I mean the 30 second notes, because they're still too fast for your maturity. So, um, I advise to half notes. Um, you you need to have a, you need to put more uh, bow to it. The bow has to bite the string. So learn to apply the right pressure first. That's why you're playing slowly. So. Yes, uh, much better. But then you have to uh, you have to look at your bow too because it's going sideways or slanted like this. It has to be perpendicular to the string at all times. And then flat bow, and I want a bit more of the bite because the the note should get thicker. Should have more body. Yeah, so the, the, the problem there was that uh, it's like the sound is popping the moment you change bow. So that's how I hear it. The, the sound should be continuous. So 
double time. Okay. Um, yeah, I think the yeah actually the tapes are confusing your fingers because I see a lot of tapes that uh, markers on your violin. That's the reason why I don't uh, ask my students to have tapes at their instrument because instead of working on developing the oral skills, the listening skills, you're developing your visual skill okay so I, I, just, I recommend to uh, for you to take those tapes off and start listening you need to listen to the tones you have to tune every note uh, with your ears and not with your eyes so. so nice thick sound Yeah, the second finger should be placed right next to your pointer, right next to one. Okay, there's a delay now. So I don't know if you heard me. So you need to put or place your uh, middle finger right next to the first finger, to the pointer. So zero, one, right next to it, two, one. Don't mind the tapes. They're not actually helping you anymore. So. right next to one. Put your second finger. Okay, so uh, listen, I don't know if you're hearing me at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Papa. Yeah, so the, the, the problem is you're um, developing a wrong interphalic distance here. You need first to work on the intonation here because the moment you you develop that wrong position, then it will be more difficult for you to fix it uh, in the long run. So, as early as now, fix this intonation. The zero, one, two, right next to one. So, fix the intonation uh, while it's still uh, easier to fix it when uh, you get more advanced or it gets longer. So, that's the sound. Okay, the last speed should not be there yet. You're not ready for the last speed yet. So do not double time until there. So perhaps work until here only. For now, that's your top speed. Okay, and then um, if you don't, yeah, if you don't have a, a tuner yet, you better download because. Um, you have to fix this as early as today. Yeah, the intonation, because you'll get used to it, your muscles will get used to it, and that will be very difficult to fix uh, afterwards. So okay. start using your ears. And I would say, uh, I would request for you to take those tapes off. I know it will be a challenge, but it's, it's for you. Okay, so yeah, you, you can start posting also your practice video so I could um, easily help you out. Uh, so post it on the lounge. Okay. 
So, yeah, so oh. that is, yeah, so thank you for today. And yeah, next week's gonna be the same thing. Sure. So yeah. I will help you out with your problems. So like this, there, there will always be a master class like this now. Um, you just need also to review the past um, live stream about the theory and all because it will help a lot if you know what you're playing and if you understand what you're playing. So yeah, because everything is based on chords at the moment. Um, you're only dealing with the notes and the exercises, and you're not still aware of where they're coming from. So if you understand the music theory, which is all there in the past live streams, then you better start learning theory. It will help in the future. Much easier to practice and to memorize pieces if you know, uh, well, if you understand music theory. So is there another one going to perform or play something, because Dario, uh, do you want to play something? Dario, do you want to play something or next week? Still there? Is it my connection or I don't know what's happening? Is it the connection? I'm losing you. I don't know if my connection is the problem at the moment, but I don't hear anything anymore. Are you still there? Okay, I think I will end the session for today. Uh, we'll have the next one next Friday anyway. So, yeah, you just need to prepare. I know this is scary when it's uh, your turn to play or perform, but that is a good exercise also for you to, yeah, for you to be braver in the future when you perform in, in front of your audiences. Okay, so that's all for today. Daryl, uh, I will ask you to prepare something for next week. Um, I would say work on the exercises. Um, yeah, since you're still a beginner. Um, yes, you're welcome. So I will see you next week. You can actually inform other uh, violinists you know. Uh, they don't have to be complete beginners to join this, um, it's just to help them out. So, yeah. 
And if you want to perform something not too advanced, just uh, prepare the music piece and then, yeah, you can send them uh, ahead of time or like what a little bit earlier, you can just share your screen, then it should be okay. So, yeah, you're, you're welcome. So I will see you again next week and I think this is a, this is a good um, thing that we're doing because, um, yeah, you're learning something and you're you're being pushed also to perform, even if it's just uh, for a short uh, period of time. Oh, so you don't see me when you share your screen. Okay, so I suggest then that you share the music you're going to play or your, the exercise if you don't have it in the lounge. So you can just send through Messenger. So thank you all for staying and goodbye for now. We'll see you next week. Bye.